world i am back i'm back with another video i didn't even bother changing my clothes because what the fuck for you know what i'm saying so this is another wentworth related video but this wentworth related video is different this one is going to be talking about the spin-off show the wentworth spin-off show so we i don't know about y'all but i thought that it was going to be coming out after season nine right the spin-off would be like after season nine I was hoping that the spinoff would be about Lou Kelly and that we would get her backstory and see her as a child and find out more about why she is the way that she is. You know what I'm saying? But alas, that's not what's happening here. What's happening here is the fucking spinoff is already with us. Okay? It is available on Audible and it's in podcast form. So the characters from Wentworth that made it onto the spinoff are... Bridget Westfall, played by Libby Tanner. We've got Ali Novak, played by Kate Jenkinson. And we've got Jake Stewart, played by Bernard Curry. So these are the three characters from Wentworth that made it onto the podcast. The, I mean, you know, the spinoff. The name of the spinoff is called Wentworth, the Fall Girl. And it takes place. I'm, I'm not going to give you details. I'm not, I've watched it. There's eight episodes. The episodes are about like 28 minutes, half an hour long each. And it was surprisingly good. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't anywhere near as good as Wentworth is. Okay? But it, I, like it's a standalone story. It has nothing to do with the storyline of Wentworth right now or Wentworth in the past. It's its own story with its own characters. But Bridget... Allie and Jake are the characters that we know that, you know, are in the story as well. So, the fucking spinoff. The story takes place after the siege, after season seven's siege, right? And it's three girls who are in a juvenile detention center called Mockridge. And Bridget is the psychologist at Mockridge now in this juvie spot. And so she comes up with this program, this raft anti-recidivism program. It's kind of like a scared straight type of a thing. I don't know if y'all know what the scared straight, when they take the fucking kids that are wilding out and they bring them to an adult jail and the adults are like screaming in their faces, you're a punk, you're going to kick your ass. And they're all in their faces and getting loud and screaming and they try to scare the kids straight. Well, this is the type of thing that Bridget came up with. So it's called raft and she picks these three 18 year old girls who are on their way to ending up in Wentworth if they keep, you know, on with their shit. So she wants them to get a taste of Wentworth for two days so that they could see it's no joke in there and that maybe they should, you know, get their shit together and, and do the right thing so that they don't end up in jail with real criminals. Three girls go in to Wentworth, but only two of them come out alive. And that's the whole premise of this story. If you're sensitive to certain topics such as like abuse of the fresh kind, be warned because that's one of the main topics in this you know, story. There's, it's violent. I mean, we're all used to violence because it's Wentworth, but there's an incident that happens that's like, oh shit that was severe but the dude deserved it and that's all i'm gonna say so that's what it is it's like a murder mystery who done it inside the halls of wentworth and i thoroughly enjoyed it i was surprised by by how how good it was like i didn't know what to think going in i was like you know wentworth podcast form i'm hearing the voices but i can't see their faces but since you know bridget ali and jake you can identify their voices. It took me a minute to be able to differentiate the voices of the three girls. So the three girls, you've got uh, Scarlett, Anna, and Maddie. Those are the three 18-year-old delinquents that are sent into Wentworth, right? Along with them, they, they have their own guard. One of the guards from their juvenile detention center, Mockridge, accompanies them into Wentworth Correctional Facility. His name is Mr. Tom Parsons. And then you've got, like, their youth leader or the 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 i forget her fucking title but there's another chick that comes in she's not a psychologist but she's kind of like bridget but not and her name is miss cara reed or reeds and there's another inmate who her name is lorraine oh my god she's a fucking bitch and 
Ooh, she pissed me off. She pissed me the fuck off. The way that this podcast, this standalone story, the way that it ends, I gasped. I gasped actually twice. Was it twice? No, it was like three times. I, I found myself gasping. Like if I, I, you know, like if I knew these characters, like if I, like if I had been with these characters for years, listening to their stories. So I became, I became involved quickly, a lot quicker than I thought I would. But the way that it ended led me to believe that there's gonna be more of these standalone podcast stories, okay? And if that's the case, the the way that it ended, um, was exciting. Because it, it made me feel like one of our favorite characters might be coming back. I don't know if I should give you a spoiler or not. Like, I wanted to do a review on the whole entire uh, series. And I don't want to blow it up for anybody. Like, because it's not really being advertised, this podcast is. And I, I don't know why. Like, what the fuck is it with the promotion? The people that do promotions. Like, hello, why is it that I had to find out the way that I did? This should have been everywhere. All over the interwebs. You know what I'm saying? Everyone should have known about it. So that's why I don't want to really go into detail about anything that's happening. Because I want to give y'all motherfuckers a chance to watch it. Because I don't know if a lot of people even know that it's out for you. For your listening pleasure. What is this? Oh my God, I need to like get my crochet hook and get the crocheting on this little dread here. So yeah, the podcast, The One Worth Four Girl, it's available on Audible. The Audible, I think, is like 14 and change a month if you're broke and you have no funds to get this app or to get the subscription. Don't fret. Audible has a 30-day free trial that they're offering all the time. So if you're, if you're lacking in the pockets if your wallets are flat right go get the app get the 30-day free trial and listen to the shit because it's only eight episodes and they're like half an hour long it's four hours of your life that you're gonna invest in listening to this and then just make sure if you don't want to pay the monthly fee just cancel before the fucking 30 days or else your credit card will be charged if you've listened to the show the podcast the fall girl, the one worth the fall girl. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought about it. If you have not, don't read the comments just in case there's going to be spoilers in there. And if you want me to do a review of the whole entire series, podcast, all eight episodes, I don't know what the fuck to call it. If you want that, let me know in the comments down below and I got you. Um, I started making this video the day that it came out. I was four episodes in on my roof doing it. It was on Monday, as a matter of fact, the day that the trailer came out. And the video, it was just too windy up there. And it was a bust. I had to delete it. That is all. But, oh, wait. Someone left me a comment. Somebody left me a comment. And I'm going to read it to you right here, right now. It was Robert Moore who left me this comment. And he was like, I've always dreamed of a last season of Wentworth with the old gang, including B. They could do a whole season showing what all went down during the four months that they were rehoused at Walford after the fire. So that was what? After season three. So it would be basically a season in between season three and four where we enter the halls of Walford Correctional Center and see what the fuck happened to the women in there. And I think that that was a fucking fantastic idea. So shout out to Robert Moore for your idea and somebody please get that idea into the hands of the writers of Wentworth or the people of Fox Tell, you know what I'm saying? However the fuck it is that it works because I think that that would be great. And I wouldn't want to see that in podcast form. I would want to see it with my eyes, all right? That's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then hit the like button, you know what I'm saying? Uh, subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so that you could be notified when I make videos in the future, all right? Because the future videos are going to be fucking fantastic. It's gonna be the episode reviews of season nine. Do you wanna see it? If so, then click the bell. Cause if not, the video will be posted and it might go right over your head and you're not even gonna know. That would be a damn shame. I cannot wait to hear what you think as far as the ending. Just, and like I said, just be prepared because some shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, we all know that these things happen on Wentworth, but it was different. 
for some reason because there's there's like they're 18 years old i don't know i don't know it was good and i thoroughly enjoyed it and i'm here for whatever other standalone stories are to come and i want to throw this out there to the people of wentworth the writers of wentworth the people in foxtel if y'all are planning to do anything wentworth related like if you need a cast member I'm here, okay? Yes, I live in the Americas, but that doesn't mean anything, okay? I will swim to motherfucking Australia if need be for me to be able to be on the, the show, okay? Whatever show it is, I don't even know at this point. I'm rambling, but it is what it is. Like, I want to be part of Wentworth. I want to be one of the women so bad. I got my hoodies, you know what I'm saying? My Wentworth hoodies, I'm ready. I got the tattoo, I'm ready. Oh, wait, I have a question. So, in this see, uh, podcast and on Wentworth itself, I noticed that they say something a certain way. So, remember in season eight when Lou went to Zayna and told her, you put Reb in hospital with that shit you peddled me, right? Here, they said such and such is in hospital. So, in America, we would say, you know, such and such is in the hospital. But or in Australia, that's not the case. So my question is, the word the, is it unnecessary? Like, are, do, is, like, are the American people just using unnecessary words in their vocabulary when we speak? You know what I'm saying? Like, what in the fuck? So, I don't, because I don't understand. I mean, I would much, the less words I have to say, the better. Because <laughs> I get tongue twisted. But like, are, do us Americans just do unnecessary shit? And, and now we're just adding unnecessary words into the English vocabulary? Like, I don't understand. Let me know if you're Australian why you don't say, I'm in the hospital. Why do you say, I'm in the hospital? Is the word the unnecessary? Is it an unnecessary word? All right, anyway, anyway, those are just my thoughts. And that's it. All right, world, I love you all. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for my birthday. Like, I've never looked forward to a birthday the way that I'm looking forward to this birthday. I'm going to be 43 years old. I want to give a shout out to Luke Kelly, okay? I know that you don't exist, but in my heart, you will always live on, okay? Bye.